And we're off, guys. 24.2. Oh, dude, Taylor got started better than no, Hopper he, did. He's fine. No, Hopper's already in the dirt. Oh, this monitor camera is clutch. Uh, Bryson Del Monte uh, framing the CEO shirts, which I approve of. Oh, I didn't even see the monitor there. There, you're right. Uh, get your right. CEO shirts at vindicate.com, vndk8.com. Oh, so Taylor's going about the same pace that Justin came out at. And if we uh, Hiller, tell me why you're laughing about that 142. Well, I'll only be laughing if he can still do it in eight rounds. Yeah, Justin he, he very well might. Jason, what? Jason's holding at a 139. Okay, I should probably laugh at that one too, but the visual hit me hard. Dude, Jason will hold it. He's going to hold that the whole time. You think so? Yes. I think it's really foolish on this workout with these two guys to make any assumptions about how it's going to finish up until at least the halfway mark. I feel like I don't disagree, JR. But I feel like the rowing in this feels like the rowing in 19.1. Like, can you keep a pace, whatever pace you are holding in the wall ball rowing workout? And Jason had the world record in that workout. Ladies and gentlemen, 24.2, 300 meters on the rower, 10 deadlift at 185 pounds, 50 double unders, as many reps as you can get. In 20 minutes, you're watching the event at CrossFit Crash. J.R. Howell's gym. J.R. Howell's on the mic. He's the man who you hear but cannot see. Also in saying that, you know, one trip and then holding that 139 means nothing. Uh, what was that? 142 for the first round for Jason Hopper. Yeah, that's 147. decent. 145 for Taylor. Okay, 145 for Taylor. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and, you decent. know, like I've been telling some people, rounds one and two, they're, they're going to have some juice. They're going to have a lot of adrenaline. They're probably going to row a little heavy, oh but they'll settle in. They should settle in by round two and three, and we shouldn't see a whole lot of deviation with the experience level here until maybe that 16-minute mark. That's where you start feeling sorry for yourself. That's when you start letting yourself row a little easier if you're in the lead, or maybe you're feeling bad about yourself because you're getting beat. So I, I think these guys are going to be super consistent. And you'll see like a three to four second maybe deviation from here all the way through like round eight or nine. Uh, JR, tell, talk to me about the placement of the rowers. Why aren't they side by side so they can scope each other's uh, speed at? Uh, I specifically didn't want them to be able to game off of each other. I think that takes a, away a lot from them not really knowing how hard the other is rowing. And I think pacing off of each other is a lot easier and not knowing where the other is at really Adds to the drama, adds to the race. Uh, Jason is. is faster on the rower uh, and faster on the deadlifts. No, he's not faster on the deadlifts. He's just had a So Jason is at 10 double unders right now when, when Taylor starts. So let's just say that's a five-second lead. Let's see at what time they both get on the rower. Does someone have a little faster cycle rate on their double under, or are they about even? Currently, they are both on pace for a thousand reps if they were to hold this pace, which, like, like JR said, I think they'll both fade a little bit, but they're on pace for a thousand reps. Hopper finishes at 329, 332 uh, when he started his 334, pool, 337 when Taylor started his five second lead. Yep. Uh, who are the judges, JR? How did you choose the judges and are they stressed out? <laughs> <laughs> they're not stressed at all, Caroline. Is oh, judging please. Taylor and Zach is judging Jason. Jason and Zach have a lot of back and forth banter on a daily basis. Zach's uh, one of our coaches here, and Caroline has been judging since the very first Crash Crucible when Taylor and Jason were both competing in 2020. They're like two of the two of the best that I have that I knew were available tonight. Taylor Self is wearing a Born Primitive shirt, and he's got the Savage Ones on. Do you remember Hopper's Taylor? Naked. Do you remember Hiller the round that Justin started to fade? Because we saw this like similar number for him, and then randomly we saw 148. Do you remember if it was like round five? Uh, no, it was later than that. It seven. seemed like it was probably seven. So Jason was just getting off the rower at about a 141 pace, at about a 141. Jason looks so now he's about seven seconds behind, eight seconds behind. Taylor is. I see Hopper picked up that uh, Tia Toomey deadlift working over with the HWPO camp. <laughs> you know, I've been seeing a lot of people today. Taylor was just doing it on the last two where they have that one, two bounce, that one, two bounce. And I really, 
I really don't think it's purposeful watching so many people do it today, like just average <laughs> members doing it. Um, I don't know. I think it's just like they favor one side when they deadlift and they just kind of lean to one side. Uh, maybe one arm is slightly bent, so it makes one side of the barbell hit early. I don't know. 517, Hopper. Ooh, Quentin. First pull at 520. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the math for you guys. 525 for Taylor. It looks like he lost three seconds First on that round. at 530. Ooh, so he's 10. 10 seconds. Okay, so, so but Taylor is transitioning very well. They're transitioning Not as well as same. Hopper. No, I think, I think they're transitioning the same. He's just picking up ground on the rower every time. AJR, can you tell us what Hopper's rowing at? Because we see Taylor's, and I'm curious what Hopper's yeah. holding still. Yeah, so Jason is right now at a 140. Okay. 141. He's faded one to two seconds. Taylor's faded two to three seconds. Staying between a 140 and a 141. Okay. We're six minutes into the workout. How many? What round is this? Four. Four. Still on pace for a thousand reps, both of them. Oh, you which, know Taylor's Taylor's hanging on. He's he's right there. Yeah, which would be a world record. Yeah, and remember, all all it's going to take is stopping on the 49th double under, or getting the rope tangled up a little bit when you go to start a set. You know, those Jason, three to four seconds. That's that's all it takes sometimes. Is Jason standing up all the way, Jr.? It looks like he is from here. He's really bow legged, so. I mean, I, I think just in general, when he locks his knees out, it kind of looks like there's a slight bend. Now, I'm pretty sure Justin... You're not Colton allowed to comment on his body, dude. Thank you. I I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're good. I'm pretty sure Justin and Colton both each had a trip by now, too. Yeah, and guys, remember also, like, they're probably, they're probably four to five feet closer to every employee. Yeah, I'm not comparing them, but just, like, how, uh, how their body's doing. You know what I mean? Not, I'm not comparing times. 7-11 for Hopper on the first pool. Jason is at 30 Ooh. 40 meters right now. As Taylor. Taylor, like he, he did not lose time on that round. No, that was nine seconds. Taylor gained a second on that round. So Jason's about 100 meters in, settling back into a 140. Uh, currently looking at this, Taylor is going to need an error. Jason Hopper will need Taylor's to Taylor's at about a 145 error. right now. They're both kind of fading from their original at the same rate. Oh, they got freaking 12 minutes left, guys. Yeah, and I mean, it, you know, a lot of people ask me this today, like, what kind of advice do you give me? And I said, from minutes 12 to 16, don't be soft, because that's when it really starts to hit, and you you have that little bit of adrenaline kick at the end. But when you get to minute 10, you're like, oh, I'm halfway, I'm good. But then for some reason... When you get to that two thirds, three fourths of the way through, that's when it really starts to get tough, and you start to want to get sloppy with transitions. Ooh, I like the camera move over there. That was good. Uh, it, looks like Zach, it looks like Zach just told him to stand up all the way. He looks like he's being a little bit more deliberate with that. Zach's a good dude. And so for those Taylor of you who didn't know what uh, Hiller was talking about, uh, you can see that the weights on the right and left and the deadlift are not hitting the ground at the same time for either Taylor or Jason. It's crash uh, lopsided, Jr. It's the whole building on one uh, slant, which, which is why your members did the same thing. Yes. Uh, yeah, the, walls are definitely, the walls are definitely <laughs> not square. Yes. Investigative journalist Andrew Hiller always at work. This is actually Sevon's headboard. All right. First pull is at 9.03. About First the same. Was at they're, they're, they're uh, both. He fell no, back he a bit. Two seconds. He gained two seconds on that. Hopper. They're both so professional with the way that they do things. Every single time, Taylor stops with the rope with his heel. He does a little semicircle with both hands. He lays the handles down perfectly. He gets on the rower. One foot goes in, grabs it by the middle part of the oar. Second foot goes in, or. starts to pull with two hands. Jason gets off the row. One, two immediately starts like they're just they're very <laughs> very very polished and disciplined with their transition oh no are they really. on identical rowers jr Ooh. uh yeah other than uh other than lifetime meters absolutely 
I have no idea who's got the newer rower. Stop trying to stop trying to conjure up nefariousness. <laughs> That's a great movie. Picks up at ten oh eight. Jason Hopper picked the bar up at ten oh eight. It was on this round that Taylor's pace fell back about two seconds yep. for 500. 10, 22. 14, 14 seconds. seconds. So this was this is larger than any gap we saw between Colton and Justin. Is that no, correct? No, no, it wasn't. It was a similar. I think we're seeing a very, very similar race. It's just these two are both at a faster rate. Uh, Luke Stone, I got 480 reps. How crap is that? Or is that okay? It's perfect. Man, you're a beast. Good job. Depends on uh, what you would have gotten last year. If you would have paid one pound, I would have told you it was shit. But for two pounds, it's great. <laughs> Dude, bo both of them have been perfection, though. No trips. Every transition's been tight. Look at uh, that little swoopy swoopy did at the end. It's just It's just the difference in the rowing pace right now. It's almost like you said it was a rowing workout. I know. We don't like to listen to me. Ross Lewis, dollar ninety nine. Let's go, Taylor. Untuck it and speed up, dude. Jason's at about a one forty five now, so throttle back a little bit. And it's hard to do once you know you've got like <gasps> ten to twenty second lead. One forty eight oh, for Taylor. One fifty, Taylor. Don't let it hit one fifty. Uh, it sounds like the crowd's getting into it a little bit, Jr. No, that was Jason talking crap at him. Oh. Have they said a word since they've started, JR? No. Susa was talking to me during the second round of our workouts today, and I told him to stop it. But Jason's getting off at about a 141 here, so he's pretty much holding the pace he started out at. 12.04. Picked up at 12.04. Hopper's impressive. Yeah, man. Oh, what the hell was that? Taylor? Yeah, that was 18, 18, 12, that? 17, 12, 18. Still 14 seconds. It's still holding on that. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed that transition. It was very – that might be what Hiller's talking about. But just the facial expression changed a little with Jason. The back step was just a little bit slower. Um, you know, they're definitely starting to feel it now. We're just over that 12-minute mark. So 12 to 16 minutes, I think, is the most painful part of the workout. And then these guys can can start it home with about two rounds left. Uh, what round are we in? Um, seven. Finish seven. I don't know. December thirty first was twenty kilograms heavier, so less. I don't know. What, uh, oh, I, I asked how he would have done last year, so I think that's him saying he would have done worse. So his score is fantastic for you. I like the one arm grab by uh, Taylor. All right, so yeah, only, I don't like only, that. only a fifty meter lead. So Taylor started pulling. Jason was at fifty. Ooh, well, you put why it don't you way. like? Why don't you like the one arm grab? Grab uh, Hiller. I don't know. It's it just looks a little bit awkward, and I don't know. It's it's not powerful, and it kind of looks like a waste of time. The rower's already reset and turned on, so it works. Uh, some texts are coming in. Jason's face looks like an impending explosion. Do you see any signs, Jr., of one of these guys hitting a wall and just turning off? Jason looks like he's hurting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that that little transition <gasps> last round, going from the deadlift to the double under. Um, yeah, I think I think he probably came out a little hot on purpose. And I mean, this is the kind of workout, though, guys. Like when you get a 10 to 15 second Ooh. lead on one. Unless you mess up on double under, you're you know, probably too. not going to relinquish that lead. Oh, Taylor's going to get him. Come on. Dude, I think Taylor sees the pain in Hopper's face, though. Yeah, that's, well, that's JR's fault. Still about a 10, still about a 10 deadlift lead. JR put seconds. Him at one another. It's still 14 seconds. It's it's held steady at 14 seconds the last two rounds. Eat him, Taylor. Eat him. Taylor's doing his deadlifts faster now. Yeah. Than than Jason. He can sense him slowing down, though, for sure. Taylor like can't sense fear. He's, like a, he's like a shark, Taylor. Still, maybe neither, it's a bear one, or a neither tiger. one is tripped. 40 to 20 right now, so a 20 double under difference. 24.2 oh, CrossFit crash. Oh. That, was that, was, huge. That, was a, that was a good call by Zach. He said 49. He tripped. Jason knew it, did it right away. 
That was huge. So our first error, our first error by Jason right. Hopper. Now, can can did, did, Colton was not able to capitalize on 150. Justin's he's, he's error. He's getting in the rhythm. He's, he'll get it. Now, will Taylor be able to capitalize on it? Well, here's the thing. Like, if Jason's right now at a 147, you know, unless Taylor is able to row a little bit harder than he was rowing on the last round, he can't take advantage of that miscue. Can they hear you, JR? I don't think so. It's just uh, Mason so Mitchell hard to make Hopper. Up time. Hopper is wounded. Luke Stone, a uh, good job, lads. Thank you. Jay Hartle, the lifeless shark eyes of Taylor. Yeah, that's what Mason's I'm talking at about. One forty-eight right now. One forty-eight pace. Guys, tw you're watching twenty-four point two at CrossFit. CrossFit Crash. Oh no. CrossFit Open brought to you by Born that's Primitive. What He's gonna have to run. Right, like so a these guys, these guys or... know the kick is gonna have to start if they have any kick at all. Right. If you if you're on the rower with a minute left, you're gonna sprint it. But right now, if they don't start the kick, it's probably not gonna come until the last 60 seconds of the workout. How do you know that they think it's at 16 minutes? Did you talk to him about that, JR? No, that's just what I felt when I did the workout and what, 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 what a lot of people oh, Jason. told me after. Hopper's slowing down, man. Yeah, man. He's going water but, buffalo mode. But Taylor can't capitalize. Like Taylor's at a 150. He feels he's in the same hang, pain cave. He can capitalize by not taking his sweet ass time picking up the jump rope. What round is this? Um, I don't know. This, so would the be, end this would be nine. This would be finishing nine at about 17, under 17. They're still on world record pace. Currently, the world record is 10 double unders in the 11th round. Jason Hopper back on the road. By the way, guys, you can go to Born Primitive and use B-P-O-P-E-N-20, B-P-O-P-E-N-20 to get 20% off and then head over to capeptides.com. Taylor, let's go. Move your Jason ass. Jason about 50 meters again with Taylor starting. Why, why is uh, Jason's judge watching Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> He's learning, man. He's trying to learn why he watches. You know? All right, one hand. Okay, Savon likes it too. Taylor's picked it up a little bit. He's holding it about a 146. Yeah, he is. All right, guys, uh, 1738. Kneel down behind Taylor. Right behind him is his wife, and she is chattering. Yeah, she's telling him she, he can't come home tonight if he doesn't beat Jason. Jason just had a 155 on the screen. Oh, my gosh, and Taylor's at a 146. I always knew Jason had a, a small little wiener. If he makes it past this round, though, I think it's just not enough time. This is gonna this is gonna be pretty close at the end, guys. This is gonna be pretty close. Hopper's mouth is wide open. <laughs> Astute observation. Close that mouth, Hopper. Oh, here comes Taylor. He is gonna get him. So he is an angry if, man. If, if you're gonna trip on a double under, it's right now, guys. If you're gonna yes. have a trip, it's right now. And how long is the rest? If you do trip. How long do you rest before you start going again? Come on. If ta if, ta if Hopper trips, Taylor can get him. I don't think Hop he can get him unless he trips, though. Hopper's got boots of lead. He's going to trip. 80 seconds left, people. 80 seconds. We're in the Don't you trip, round. Jason. I'm, I'm willing Hopper to trip. So finishing <laughs> finishing 10 right now, guys. We're Snape in the audience, casting spells on ropes and stuff. Oh, he oh, dude, chucked he the knew, rope. He knew, he knew he won it with that. He knew he won it with that. That's he not. He, he chucked the rope. Here we yeah. go. It's a oh, rowing race, right. people. Here we go. Close, guys. Don't need the rope, idiot. Fifty-five seconds left. All right, it's a row off. That's not a Taylor's good thing. In a one forty-two. Jason's at one. Taylor's at one thirty-seven. Jason's at two hundred four. Dude, Jason's. Hurt. Jason's hundred meters in at a one forty-three. Get closer to your mic, John. 1922. <laughs> Guys, if anyone can touch the jump rope, this is going to be really close. Dude, 30 Taylor, seconds Taylor left. Taylor's going to catch him here. Yeah, Jesus, dying. 135, 135 <laughs> for Taylor. He's at about 200 meters. Oh, I'm cramping. <laughs> Jason is at 200 meters. Holy shit. Taylor's neck and neck, it, guys. Dude. 15 Taylor's seconds left. Do it, man. 237. Dude, he's going to beat him. <laughs> Thumb, thumb, thumb. Ten seconds, the crowd, guys. The crowd's getting unhinged. Five seconds left, people. Three, 
Move your ass. Tom. No. Oh my God. Did he get one a deadlift? deadlift. He beat him by one deadlift. No. No. Did they Zach tie? No on the deadlift. They no tied. <laughs> Oh, Hopper, I mean, you give that to Hopper. Hopper you don't won. give it to Hopper. You don't give it to Hopper? It. What the yes, fuck is do. wrong with you? No, you don't call it tie. Yes, you do. Yes, Who's you do. All right, so, all right, so guys, there's, there's no tie break. It's a tie. Right. Hold on, let's right. JR get some feedback from JR. Let's see what's going on here. We'll fight in a second. You want, here if we you want go. get some extra space for that real quick, Zach said he did not complete the deadlift before the time ran out. Well, next time I see Zach, tell him I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> 